Are you guys seeing this? This has to be the old art, right? Like, look at Rampage. Oh, playtester art mode. What a difference, huh? Look at the difference between the art. Okay, so what I mainly came on here, sorry about that, guys. I know, that was a very bad, bad start. What I came on here for was this. These new achievements, where are they? Ah, right here. Who needs relics? Beat the game with a single relic. That is what we are trying to do. So we're gonna go for the silent. I, I, just, I feel like silent may be able to do this better. Oh, we haven't even got the boss relic. Fuck me. Resets. I'm gonna re-roll the boss relic. I'm gonna try winning with the re-rolled boss relic. Let's abandon the run. I, I know it feels bad doing that, but we have to abandon it. Goodbye, my friends. We made it. Beautiful. Now, give me the whale bonus. There it is. Okay, okay. Let's go. So all the hoopla aside, let's go for the challenge. Win the game with one relic and one relic only. And I think the best way to do that is maybe get a boss relic. Depends on what we get. If we get a tiny house, even better. Swag points, style points. All right, let's see what we get. Random boss relic. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Let's, let's focus on the fact that I got a white elephant, white beast statue as my relic. Let's try to win this with run, one relic. Now, if we can win with white beast statue, that'd be even better. So we're going to go try beating this with white beast statue. I don't know how successful this is going to be, but we're going to try our damnedest. I think, see, going for elites is not that great here just because we can't really get the, the relic bonus off of them. So let's just focus on not doing the elites. We get one, two, three rests. One, two, three, four. Ah, three rest anyways. It looks fancy, but it's not fancy. It's not fancy at all. Okay, so we get potions that every combat. So that could be actually pretty useful if you think about it. When you're trying to win with one relic, having a potion after every battle might give you the little oomph you need to win. So dash. I think dash is a very solid card to win. Uh, obviously, I'm only going to be working with three energy here, so dash is going to be pretty pricey. But as far as like a pricey card goes, it's one of the best ones you can use. Because it gives you attack and defense. Ooh, another dash. So, I don't know if two dash is excessive. Let's go for it. Two dash. I know this is crazy. This is crazy. Maybe maybe this is maybe that's a mistake. We probably don't want two dash. Who's the boss? Oh, so Caltrops. I'm taking this from one of my racer kill. He said Caltrops against Hexaghost is clutch. So, we're going to remove the strikes. We're going to replace the strikes with dashes. It's going to be kind of interesting. By the way, I have potions, so I could use these willy-nilly because I get them after everything. So let's just use them willy-nilly. That's the whole... I mean, if I can use a potion every fight, then I'm, I'm good. Another... Okay, so that's another dash. Triple dash. Now I'm just getting crazy if I get triple dash. That's just crazy. So we're going to go for the backflip. I think we should upgrade neutralize first. And then we're going to upgrade the uh, cow traps. And then we'll upgrade the dashes. Another backflip... And then a uh, Bouncing Flask. Bouncing Flask could be interesting. But I already have two dashes. I think we're going to skip the Bouncing Flask. Alright, let's up here the Cow Traps. That's going to be a good source of damage for Hexaghost and just in general. Peace Pipe. Oh, fuck! I ruined the challenge. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so instinctual. I ruined the challenge. Fuck me. Okay, let's get to the boss and have to reset. I was feeling so excited about this run too. All right, it's gonna take some um, combating some muscle memory to not pick up these relics. I have to reset after the boss so I get the bonus. Oh my god, I was liking this. We had the dashes. We had some interesting, some interesting cards. We had the white beast statue, which I think is pretty good if you think about it, because a potion after every battle you can util utilize that. So wait, can I get rid of the peace pipe? Can I sell it? Get rid of it. Toke, th toke the pipe. Toke the pipe. Oh, this run was going so well, man. Let's actually toke the strikes. I mean, this is theoretical. If, if this was... Wait, I just upgraded the strike. What am I doing? What the hell did I just do? Well, thank God I upgraded, though. It kind of helped me in this fight. It was a shame, man. It would have it would have been beautiful. Me and my elephant. We would have taken it all. I felt it. Elephant's probably one of the best ones for this challenge, just because the potions might help you a lot, right? Oh, shit. Okay, specimen has its value. It does have its value. Elephant helps you more survive with the block potions and the region potions and the fire potions and all that good stuff. Specimen could be useful if we if we find poison. If we don't find poison, then specimen's a waste. For the late game, specimen's probably one of the best ones. If I can get some poison cards. Dagger spray. Deflect is probably good when you have three energy, so... Things like deflect and slice have more value, I think. 
We'll go for the late shop. By going for the late shop, I have more options with my gold. So I think deflect is pretty good in these kind of... Uh, obviously, I don't have the double backflip like I had last time, so it's not as good. But deflect would be useful when I have low energy. Acrobatics prepared. So I don't think acrobatics is good when I only have three energy. Prepared has its uses, but I think I'm just going to skip here. Already, this deck is nowhere near as good as the last time. Let's take the damage. Let's upgrade the neutralize. Ah, we're taking lots of damage. Okay, I gotta skip this. Skip the chest. Okay, we skipped it. Alright, we need the region potion. Noxious Tomb is gonna be... Okay, Noxious Tomb for specimen. Amazing. We're going against this guy. So I think maybe Leg Sweep and Malaise are all decent. I think Regal Pillow might have some value here. Because I might... Because I don't have a... Wait, what? I took the Golden Idol? I forget that some of these events try to give you relics. Alright, gotta start a new run. Man, this has been so good, too. Okay, I was gonna take the Regal Pillow to get more value out of my heal. I'm I'm really bad at not getting relics. For some reason, I just, I'm just i a magnet for relics. You know, like, special event ruins are on. I don't mind special I really don't. I think it's interesting. <laughs> I had the events, and I didn't even think about the fact that she was trying to give me her little idol. Yikes. So, you know what's funny about these guys? These guys will uh, trigger the runaway after three attacks for no reason whatsoever. They just trigger the runaway for no reason. It's completely random. All right, got to abandon the run. Let's do it again. Man, my win rate is going to be awful on this one. Okay. Do not pick up chests and be very careful with events. Let's see what we get. All right, I like it. Me and my white elephant. I'm back to where we started. I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. So, unfortunately, we have a forced elite, which is not usual. But for our troubles with the forced elite, we end up getting four rests. So, I guess that's fine. Blade Dance, Smashful Stab. Okay, so Shiv's in a three energy deck. Honestly, I think I might skip here. How often am I going to utilize Smashful Stab? Probably not very often. Unless we get something like Unload. I'm taking it. Disagree. I gotta be very careful with these events. Smashful Stab is obviously more useful when you have more energy, but... I'm hoping to get some kind of discard synergy. I'm gonna hold on to the potions just because we have an Elite coming up. I remember, when I had this lead, I gotta skip the Relic. Look at this. Smashful Stab for lethal. What's up? Calculated Gamble. Calculated Gamble might be interesting. If we go for like... A you know what? If we go for a discard synergy, think about this. If we go for like concentrate discard synergy, if we get lucky with the cards, having three energy is not a big deal at all. So like right here, I get calculated gamble. I don't get calculated gamble. Never mind. Forget what I said. Whoops. Anti synergy. After image, dodge and roll prepared. Um, after image might be useful in a deck like this, just because I'm gonna I'm picking up cheap cards like deflect and. Slice and hopefully get card draw. Right now, it's not coming together. I'm thinking about the future. Thinking about the future. Oh, we got Mashable Stab. What's up? It's got a lot of value so far. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Dagger Spray. I like Dagger Spray. All right, for our first upgrade, it's going to be the Neutralize. Now, we have potions for this Elite. Now, remember, I got to be very careful not <laughs> to take the Relic. Oh, this is unfortunate. I'm taking lots of damage here. Who's the boss? Ah, Hexagos. So, if I find a Caltrops, I'll pick it up. I'll, I'll throw a Fire Potion. Fuck it. I think Prepared might be interesting in a, in a deck where you have Mashable Stab. I think Prepared might be interesting. It also gives me silence. It gives me uh, after image value. I'll take it. Okay, for these guys, there's not much I can say about these guys, to be honest. All I can say is that I'm just going to use potions... As often as possible because I have this statue, right? So this guy, we kind of want to kill with a potion. Now I think I actually can get... Like, I can get Master Stab value just because of prepared. 15 damage for 0 mana is not bad, especially considering you're going to be starved for energy. Uh, well, one thing that counters it for sure is the dazed. Things like dazed really mess it up. Kind of like having clash, right? Okay, now I just gotta not pick up the relic that he drops. Okay, do not pick up the relic. Don't touch it. Bursts. Okay, we'll pick up a burst. Alright, gotta skip the relic here as well. Skip the chest altogether. Wait, if you open it up, you have to select the relic, right? Like, you still get the gold, right? Yeah, I can still get the gold. Okay, we're going against the Hexaghost. This is always in your hand if you upgrade it. I don't know if that's useful. We need more DPS 
for the Hexagon. So we're going to upgrade Dagger for just so we have more offense. Okay. So forget about looking at the relics. Eviscerates Dagger Spray. I kind of like Eviscerate if I can get a discard mechanic. Unfortunately, I think I can. Honestly, I think I can. What is the upgrade of this? Four cards exhaust. Alright, I think I'm going to get Eviscerate. I'm going to remove one of the strikes. We're going to try going for like a calculated gamble kind of eviscerate synergy with like burst calculated gamble and try to get eviscerate this might be crazy but if I, I can get a lot of value out of this deck if i make it work like even burst prepared here is interesting like look at that i got eviscerate kill this guy instantly easy easy damage it's already working out what's up and i got mashable stab Hello! Yo, my, my, it's coming together beautifully. I think we're gonna get rid of this draw potion. We're gonna go for poison. And let's do prepared again. So I'm gonna have a lot of discard synergy. We're trying to get Mastral Stab, we're trying to get Eviscerate. This might be kinda crazy. So, I actually... Unceasing Top would be obviously good here. I don't mind being alone in life because the Hexaghost does less damage. By the way, I should be using potions constantly. So I don't know if dexterity is better. Uh, we're gonna take we're gonna take the block potion for this big attack. Take a flying knee. Let me show you upgrade the prepareds. Those are pretty low priority upgrades, but with the deck I'm going for, it might be useful. Let's pop this potion. Let's pop this potion. Okay, maybe getting after image upgrade would be more important, just so I have that on the back burner always. All right, let's weaken you. We're looking at twelve damage. Let's dig. All right, we got the survivor. Survivor should cover it. Easy peasy. Now we just need to make sure we have the DPS, which we should. Interesting. So, having Eviscerate here is pretty bad because you want to Eviscerate after the fact. Right now our DPS is a little bit lacking, I'll be honest. Yeah. Yikes. I can Eviscerate straight up. So Eviscerate, Master Staff have a very bad anti-synergy. Like, very, very bad. Extremely bad. Jesus Christ. Alright, so Burst's calculated gamble is, like, interesting, but the problem is... Like, I want to get Eviscerate after the fact, not... It's so hard to actually guarantee it. What I need is well-laid plans. With well-laid plans, the deck comes together. In fact, just look for Neutralize. There it is. So we still have a lot of defensive value. Promise we're, we're going to try getting burns in our deck. This deck is a lot worse than the other one that I had, to be honest. Ah, okay. We actually got Mashable we'll Stab finally. No, we didn't. I should have got rid of the Survivor. Jesus Christ. Cow Traps would have helped a lot here for the damage, right? Okay, we got, we got, we got 15 damage there. That's good. That helps. This helps a lot as well. Another 15 damage. Yikes. I think we should just do this. We might be dead here. We're looking at 35 damage. Can we just barely live? Nope. We don't live. It was actually 42 damage. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, that run was really bad, guys. I was going for a deck. It would have been interesting, but to be honest, I mean, <sighs> like, the synergy wasn't quite there yet. If I could get, like, well, they planned, give me some more discard mechanics, it would have been an inch. It could have probably won the game. Jesus Christ. Calling Bell is immediate fail. That's an immediate fail because I can't take any of these. Okay, we're going to take it out the reset. I don't realize how painful this actually is. Okay, guys, this is actually kind of painful. Malaise. All right, we got to the boss. Time to do the nice, beautiful reset. It was very nice meeting you, my friend. In another life, I will beat you. But for now, we must run away like cowards that we are. Okay. Uh, please don't be calling, Bell. Thank you very much. I don't know how... I didn't realize how much a pain in the ass this is. Okay, give it to me good. Tiny house. 
Okay, I think Ancient White Beast Statue, whatever, is probably one of the best ones I've found, to be honest. But I ruined that run. So let's roll with the Tiny House. There's a Force Elite no matter where we go. And this is a really bad map, guys. What the hell? There's only two rests in every single path. And every single path is a Force Elite. I've never had this bad of a path. Okay. All right, two rests it is. Force delete, let's go. So Terra's dead card here. Damn, that was a dead hand. That was a, a massively dead hand. Shit, man, shit. Taking so much damage. My god. I'm dead. No! Oh, fuck. Man, my deck's awful. What? Why am I trolling so bad, guys? What am I doing? What am I doing? Like, why am I picking cards for the future instead of just picking cards for the now? I mean, I guess it's fine, but like... There's not enough card draw to to work with these deflects, right? If I had another backflip, and maybe I had an acrobatics with the tactician, maybe these would make more sense. But this guy just... This is my worst enemy. Honestly, it's the worst enemy to me, because he frails you, then he has three artifacts, and my whole thing is predicated on terror, terror glass knife shenanigans. To be honest... Yeah, so many one cast attacks and low defense. So the problem is I, I got... I tried removing some of my strikes, right? And I replace the strikes with a lot of attacks, a lot of attacks. Two glass knife, heel hook, fly knee quick slash. So, I think I got I went overboard on the one cluster attack. If I got rid of all my strikes, then this is fine, right? Then I have like a decent. But it, the fact that I have three strikes and I have five one cost attacks, that just comes an imbalance. Uh, yeah, I have five defends and then I have you know a backflip and two deflects. But then you have a dead card and tactician most of the time, and then you have terror, which was a dead card because they had artifacts. So, it just it's just this, this deck was not very uh, well thought out. It's okay. We're gonna get it this time. We're gonna get it this time. That's it. We're gonna get it this time. I saw my mistakes clear as day. I'm I'm getting a little over ambitious. I'm getting I'm, lately. I've been getting very creative with my decks, but creative in a very bad way. Okay, tiny house again. Survivor. That's actually a really good upgrade. I can I can work with that. Backflip. I can work with that. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna make sure we keep everything balanced, right? We're not gonna go crazy with the one cast attacks. I'm not gonna draw cards that don't have synergy for me right now. So people love leg sweep, right? They think it's good value. I'll try it out. I think when you have three energy, leg sweep is expensive. So we're gonna try to find offense now, right? Because we have we have decent we have we have survivor upgraded and a leg sweep and a backflip. Our defense is good right now. Let's balance it out with some offense. Those are not the offense I'm looking for. Yeah, right now my offense is struggling. Honestly, I think last game could have worked a little bit better if I just maybe didn't take the... So, Noxious Streams is pretty good. If I didn't take the, the Quick Slash and the Flying Knee. Or maybe just take one less Glass Knife. This is gonna be kind of slow. This whole noxious assume leg sweep thing. That's, that's the only reason why I don't like leg sweep because it's like it seems kind of slow in those situations. But with poison as my backbone, I guess this is fine. Another backflip. So with two backflips, now I can go a little bit more ham on things like slice and deflect. See, this guy is trying to run away immediately. That pisses me off. Come on, dude. How are you gonna run away like that? You're abusing my lack of offense. Okay, I like Tactician. In, I like the concept of Tactician in a small deck. I do like the concepts. But the last time it was a dead card. But I don't think the, that, I don't think Tactician was the reason for my demise last turn, right? There was other things that were holding me back. So Leg Sheep is pretty good here. Uh, Bane. You think Bane is good in a Noxious Stream deck? I don't think so. We're just gonna we're just gonna really pick the value cards that as if as I've been session fifteen as if I'm trying my best. Let's pick the value cards, right? And we still we still gotta play around the fact that we are 
we are running with three energy throughout the whole run so i'm trying to play around that but i want to also get to the end of the run as well so this is kind of unfortunate that guy's dead now i just gotta focus on this little boy right here easy peasy reset to get energy relic uh no nah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make this we're gonna make this work well laid plan so again quick slash would have been good in that situation Almost hit the lantern. I almost did. Okay. Now we just need to get some discard to make Tactician come to life. I want... I could have... You know what? I could have taken that curse just to get more gold for the shop. That probably was the right play. Alright, forget about looking at those relics. Who's the boss? Okay, cow traps might be good against that boss. Okay, I think we're going to get cow traps. Pick up a blur... Or I'm gonna prioritize removal. I know blur is a great card. Again, I gotta be careful here. We're gonna skip. Here, I got both. So now I got both my. Uh... Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold on to these two. I should have held on to tactician for free survivor value next turn. Anyways, we're gonna do the leg sweep. We're just gonna defend. We're gonna let Noxious Stream do its thing a little bit. Noxious Stream should be able to cover most of this. He's gonna end up killing himself with cow traps. If, if I can keep defending, we're totally fine, right? There's no rush here. We got the we got the head start with the noxious fumes. The strike, strike, neutralize. Now we can just this is like an easy tactician should ever hold, right? And now we have enough energy to do leg sweep, so he's weakened for the rest of life. Easy peasy elite. Okay, except for this situation where I'm taking damage. But other than that, easy peasy. Beautiful. Okay. So, deflects I think is fine with double backflip, to be honest. What's not fine, though, is the fact that I'm lacking a little bit of offense. So, we'll take the deflects. And, actually, our maneuver is not bad there either because I have backflips. So, I kind of have the card draw to supplement... The energy gain. We reach a portion is pretty interesting because, I mean, that's one of our weaknesses as the silence is not having health uh, regen. We have enough weaken with leg sweep and neutralize that I don't need the uh, weaken potion. Another expertise, I mean, another backflip. Okay, if we take another backflip, then we're gonna have a crazy, crazy amount of defense. That's kind of crazy. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do three backflips. I'm going to justify this by making sure I get enough energy without maneuver and cheap cards like Deflect that it would make it worth it. Uh, let's upgrade Neutralize. It's just a very solid upgrade. I'm going to use a Potion here because I have enough, right? It's kind of a bad first turn to be honest. At least I got him weakened. As long as we get Noxious Fumes out, we can just defend all day, right? So there's Noxious Fumes. It would be nice to find Survivor here. Unfortunately, we didn't. I gotta do damage, otherwise he's gonna get this nasty. Yeah, my offense is a little lacking. So we're gonna get the, the we're gonna get the big old debuff on us. We have cow traps here, so if we actually defend, this could be interesting for us. It might be interesting actually to let him hurt himself with cow traps. And like it buys us some time to get more noxious streams out. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to these two. So right now this would be like a very defensive deck with poison as a back end. It's gonna be very slow. Picking up a blur wouldn't have been bad. I get so much defensive value that blur wouldn't have been bad. We have a lot of card draw though. Look at the card draw. I think I'm gonna hold on to the strikes for the next turn. Well, survivor covers. It. Survivor's free, right? I mean, I, I could just get damage and deflect will cover it. All right, I kind of like this. He gets procced anyways because of... Ooh, cow traps coming in hot. Well, this guy is very easy with noxious streams. As long as you have noxious streams all in the background, you're fine. Alright, this guy's going to die very soon. 
Let's get all of our cheap cards out first. I mean, I technically could just win by letting him kill himself. He's, he's going to kill himself here. All right. Got to skip the relic. Nightmare, Wraith, Form, Doppelganger. Uh, these are not the greatest cards. I think Nightmare might be useful. Well, think about it. Wraith Form is pretty interesting because we're going to get a lot of cheap cards, right? We have card draw with backflips. We're going to hopefully get cheap cards like Deflect. But I also don't want to make my deck too fat and random. Nightmare could win the game with Noxious Fumes. I'm actually going to go Nightmare just for the Noxious Fumes. Skip the Relic. I'm going against the Champ again. Okay. But last time we didn't make it to the Champ. Hopefully we make it there this time. We're still lacking a little bit of offense. Alright. So late shot. Let's go for the late shot. Let's draw for the Noxious Fumes. There it is. At this point, just, just uh, play it cool. I mean, this can be very slow. I know it's very slow and annoying just defending and let the fumes do its thing, but to me, that's the most consistent way to win. All right, he's dead. Flying knee, dodge and roll. So flying knee gives me the energy to supplement some of the card draw. I'll pick up a flying knee. Got to be careful, though, because I still have... Wait a second. Okay, I thought for a second I was forced to take out a, a relic here. Scare the crap out of me. Alright, so it's still the same old, well, very easy value out of defending Noxious Fumes. It's pretty consistent. You're going to need a little bit more oomph as you go on into the Act 3. I think a good card for this kind of deck is the uh, Grand Finale, right? Because Grand Finale has so much value for such low... If you can consistently get it with well laid plans, it has a lot of value for a, one, for a low energy card. Alright, GG. I thought you were going to be a problem. Uh, let's get rid of the block and get the dexterity. Footwork. Okay, so now we got a footwork as well. Everything's coming together quite nicely. I kind of want to focus on this guy in the back, but let's just kill this guy doing the daze first. Actually, assume it's going to be really nice. I'll pop a region potion because I want to get to full life, and there's a chance that, you know, with the frail involved, I might not be able to defend consistently. Alright, Footwork is out. Well they planned is out. Footwork kind of counteracts his frail. Okay, now I can do leg sweep. This guy should be dead to this. Get the leg sweep there. Easy peasy. Let's hold on to the cow traps. Alright, smooth sailing. Now the, now the Noxious Fumes is going to kill him. Beautiful. So this deck is already doing much better, right? Kind of like a standard defensive poison deck. Nightmare's a dead card. I think Nightmare's going to come to life for boss battles, right? Like, I'll Nightmare the Noxious Fumes if I can. Which is kind of hard because most of the time you want to use Noxious Fumes as, as soon as possible. You don't typically want to wait. The alternative is to Nightmare Footwork and get so much dexterity that you win by a very slow and noxious death. Another Footwork. Okay, so two Footworks is not bad. Uh, we're leaving this. Alright, let's upgrade our Footworks. We still need a little bit more oomph in our offense. Don't want jacks. Interesting. Footwork, leg sweep, deflects. Look at that. So this sucks, right? Because I don't have enough energy to do Nightmare Noxious Fumes. It's like almost impossible to get Nightmare value. And I need to get Noxious Fumes out there, so we're just doing it. Let's weaken him. Got 15 damage. Alright. Either I could take one damage. Alright, I think I'm actually going to hold on to Cow Traps here. Pretty good value against this guy. Since we have more energy next turn, it's better to hold back for the next turn when we have energy to utilize it, right? So we got four energy to work with here. Let's keep up the neutralize. Yep, yep, yep. Against time meter, this deck's gonna have trouble though. Especially since I don't really have a shallow wind condition. Noxious Shumas has another victim. Let's upgrade Cow Traps because it's actually doing a lot of damage for us. Another backflip. Ah, uh, I think that's a little, I think it's too much. At this point, it's a little bit too much backflip. I know it's a great card, but I really need to work it to my offense. I hope I don't regret getting rid of that backflip. Alright, we're going to skip the relic here. Alright, we're going to take damage here. Let's do, uh, let's pop, uh, let's pop this. We're, we're in for the long call with this one. Alright, that guy in the back is dead. Let's just focus on this guy in the front. Look at, all, look at all this block I'm getting. I, so I have a lot of use for blur. 
Endless Agony, Slice, Deflect. Okay, I think Slice might be... I think Deflect is good here because I have enough card draw. <laughs> Again, it gets punished by the Time Eater. I'm going to open Cow Traps because it's actually doing a lot of damage for us. Prepared another Footwork Skewer. A uh, Skewer is not very good here just because... Uh, Calipers, I can't... Uh, I can't look at any relics, what I'm talking about. Another Footwork, I think it's excessive. I think we're going to remove a Strike. Hmm... <clears throat> We should make Nightmare cheaper just so we can get... Like, I think we should make Nightmare cheaper because we kind of want to get the Nightmare Noxious Doom combo. I think that's going to be the best bet for winning. But as it stands, it's so expensive, it's kind of hard. Now, this one's going to be interesting because... These guys are quick-scaling champions, and I don't have a very quick-scaling deck. I'm actually going to pop a Dexterity Potion for this fight. <clears throat> so here I kind of want to do Nightmare Noxious Dooms to get... I mean, maybe I don't need to, right? Maybe... Maybe we're fine here. Nightmare, honestly, is only good for the bosses. Against this fight, you gotta, you got to, you're just gonna have to try to out defend, I guess, right? I might take a lot of damage. Noxious Shumas came out a little late. That guy's weakened. This is free. All right. Well, if we keep getting things like this, like enough defensive value, then I think we're fine. Hold into a strike to kill one of these guys quicker. Yeah, we gotta have to defend. Uh, luckily, we got good deflect value. Uh, we cover these guys, so let's let's focus on getting a little bit more damage. I think with the strikes now, we can kill this guy next turn, and we survived. An upgraded slice to get a little bit more damage, or should we just really focus on? Do we have a flying knee? Three strikes, and that's all the offense we have. I guess an upgraded slice wouldn't hurt, but it doesn't really fit our poison theme. So we're gonna skip. Um, I'm gonna upgrade. I think I gotta upgrade Tactician or Leg Sweep to get more defensive value. If I upgrade Tactician, I can get more energy and potentially play the Nightmare Noxious Fumes. I'm gonna have to just wait for a free turn to get Nightmare Noxious Fumes. Let's get Footwork upgraded. I kinda wanna hold this Noxious Fumes for Nightmare. Do I think- do I need it? I think I need the Noxious Fumes Nightmared. This might be kinda crazy. I might regret this. I might as well pop a Dexterity Potion for this fight. Alright, so we got the Nightmare, now we just need to find the Noxious Fumes. We also got Flying Knee, so this is the perfect time to get Noxious Fumes if you can draw into it. Alright, let's backflip. We got it. We got, so we got, we, this is perfect, we got all this Deflect value, and we got Noxious Fumes upgraded. We got the Neutralize, and we got the Noxious Fumes, this is beautiful. Let's hold on to Leg Sweep here. Alright, well, I think if we have four Noxious Fumes out, we should win this, no problem. Noxious Fumes. Noxious Doom. Survivor covers the damage. So I'm going to hold on to Leg Sweep again for the weaken. Alright, get another one out. Now Leg Sweep in itself covers this whole thing. Alright, now we just let Noxious Doom do its thing. That should be interesting. 12 poison a turn. Probably excessive. But damn sexy. Now again, I gotta pick up a Blur. Blur will make this deck out of control. Alright, at this point there's nothing for me to do. Okay, Ice Cream. Okay, I can't use Ice Cream. What am I talking about? Let's get the leg sheep hold on to it for when he gets his next form, because his next form is going to be kind of lethal. Let's see what we can get here. Maybe we can get like a flying knee. Nope. Let's hold on to these two. Alright, he, he gets rid of all that poison, but I'm putting 12 stack of poison a turn. Let's get the leg sheep on him. Oh, flying knee would have been great. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. This is the, the big banana play. Oh, Survivor Tactician coming in clutch. I, run, I just want to get the energy for the next turn, right? Let's hold on to these two. And he's dead. He's dead next turn. Okay, we did it. Nightmare Noxious Fumes. That's what we needed to do. It worked out. Now let's see who the boss is. Another Nightmare, another Noxious Fumes. Bullet Time. Oh, I think Bullet Time might be so good in this kind of combo deck. If I can get like Bullet Time for Nightmare Noxious Fumes, that's amazing. Those are kind of expensive cards. Skip the Relic. Specimen is very tempting, I know. Uh, it's the Awakened one. So Awakened one is kind of interesting because I have double footwork and I'm trying to go for Noxious Fumes. So he's actually, to me, one of the hardest bosses for me. The best way for me to counteract that is to get so much footwork and so much weakening on him that he doesn't do damage, right? 
So we're gonna have to get as many potions as possible to take care of this guy. I really gotta get rid of this guy in the back. The daze is gonna start messing me up. Alright, well luckily they're not attacking. I got very lucky with that. None of them attacked. Okay, no more dazed. We're good. These guys are scaling up pretty quick. But luckily we have good defense. Uh, let's hold on to these two. This might be interesting. Alright, this guy's doing 20 damage. Alright, we can do Nightmare. Like, Nightmare Leg Sweep, why not, right? Interesting! Haha! <laughs> An upgraded backflip. Okay, against the Awakened One, maybe that can work. An upgraded backflip. So that basically what it's gonna mean is that I have more card draw, but I really need to get this like noxious zoom combo out. But that's gonna be crazy against the Awakened One. What we really need is weakened. I'll take another backflip, that's fine. Blur is so good in this deck. I don't think any of these are good for our deck. Purity is interesting because you can get rid of your strikes and have a really small defensive deck. Purity is kind of interesting. I think with enough footwork, I don't care about the Awakened One. As long as I can kill the, the guys in the front first. So what we really want to do is get AoE damage. Like quick, fast AoE damage. I'm going to remove another strike. Just, I think we can with this deck alone. Honestly, just let Noxious Tomb do his thing. I know it seems crazy. But if I just get Noxious Tombs, I can just stall out enough against... The Awakened Ones that I shouldn't die. It's going to be a very lame victory, but it's going to be a victory nonetheless. Because the beautiful thing about... Uh, I think Acrobatics is fine. The beautiful thing about... And now I need to slow down with the cards I take. The beautiful thing about this deck is that we can't do this because you don't want the Relic. Is that the Awakened One doesn't scale up unless you play a power. So as long as I just pay my footworks, I should be fine. I think we should maximize... At this point, we should maximize Tacticians because we are low on energy. And now we just picked up an Acrobatic, so if we can do Acrobatics into Tactician, then we're good. Do I really want the Madness, though? Madness could be interesting. If I can get Madness... Madness just has value with Nightmare, because if you Madness something like... Mm, there's really nothing worth Nightmare value. If I pick up, like, an Eviscerate, I can Madness the Eviscerate, and then have Nightmare on the Eviscerate, and get tons of little cheap Eviscerates cycling through my deck. Same thing with Bouncing Flask. So we'll take the Madness... But there's potential value there. There's not a lot of value right now, though. And maybe this whole idea of potential value is what's getting me into trouble in the first place. Maybe I should stop doing this whole potential value shit. Tactician, so that's pretty nice. Footwork, footwork, noxious fumes. Blur, backflip. Another blur, double blur. Whoa, okay. We might be too slow for this fight, though. Noxious fume might be too slow, so I gotta be a little bit more... We'll bullet time again. Bull time doesn't really work with three energy that well. Oh, acrobatics is free in tactician, so that's that's a lot of extra gold there. If we can find blur, that'd be amazing, but we didn't. Look for blur. Ah, uh, no blur. What could I nightmare to make this fight less slow? Because I might actually lose if I go this slow. I've got the blur at least. All right, so look at this. Acrobatics tactician is a crazy, crazy combo. Like, what the hell? So much value out of that. I guess if I keep getting footworks out, we're fine. Well, since we have blur for days, might as well get as much defense as possible. I guess I could win a very slow victory if I keep getting blur. As soon as I lose blur, I'm in trouble. Like, I'm in massive trouble as soon as I lose blur. And I think I just lost blur. At least Nightmare the Leg Sweep It's pretty stupid, to be honest. All right, Leg Sweep was pretty stupid. To, uh, <laughs> that doesn't really help my victory. I think Flying Knee is better. Uh-oh. Okay, that that helps though. That helps a lot. That helps a lot. We're cutting it very close. 60 damage. Thank you for blur. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're good. We're good. We got, we got the blur out. Everything's good. All right, we we won. We won. So if we can do that against the boss, right? Just get noxious fumes. Ah, uh, we can win like that. It's very slow, but at least it works, right? Got to skip the relic here. Uh, I'm gonna rest at the next one. Oh, I'm falling. Lose bullet time, lose strike. I'll, I'll lose strike gladly. Let's rest. Alright, so we're on our way for a tiny house victory.
I'm not quite there yet. I'm really not quite there yet, especially with a turn like this, right? We have no footworks, you know, this is little. This is looking a little rough. But we made it this far with just a tiny house. And people like to hate on tiny house. And look, look what it's got in us. Look how far we've come. Alright, once you get your first footwork out, everything's safe. The one thing that might kill me against this boss is if I don't get my footworks out on time. And you know what I was thinking? I was thinking this. If I can get Nightmare on footwork, I can have so many footworks out that yes, he'll get strength up, but because of the... Wait, wait a second. This is a lot of damage. It's weakening this guy. Because of the way footwork works, the footwork counteracts the strength gain that he gets. That I can just keep defending for the rest of my life and let Noxious Stream do its thing. Now, I don't think that's the best thing to do, but Bull Time looks really nice here. One second. Let's, uh... I kind of want to Nightmare Cow Traps to see what happens. I just want to try it out. Let's just try it out, see what happens. Why are you killing yourself? Why are you killing yourself? It would have been very nice, honestly. Alright, wait, how much damage are we looking at? 16, 12, 28, 39. I'll be covered, so let's do one Cow Traps here. Beautiful, and we have Blur. That's 10 damage straight to your face. Boom, 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 boom. Let's do it again. Oh, Acrobatics Tactician is a great combo. Saving my ass. Ah, they, they lose anyways. Never mind. Fun's over, guys. It only lasts for one turn. And maybe maybe that's how I win the boss. Nah, because Caltrops gives me strength, whereas Footwork counteracts the strength. So, if I am going to do that, we're going to go upgrade. We're going to do the Noxious Fumes, or we're going to do the Footwork. What is this guy? I've never seen this guy before. Should I be worried about this guy? What the hell? I take 10 damage at the end of my turn? Oh my god, what the hell? That's brutal. Oh wait, I can block the damage, right? Oh, okay, we can block the damage. Okay, I thought it was like, just 10 damage to your health. That's like the most OP shit ever. Yeah, and I read the footwork. Let's go. Wait a second. Wait a second. I see something beautiful here. Okay, 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 okay. So, let's use one footwork. Let's do acrobatics on the tactician. We got bullet time. Footwork, footwork. Fly knee, deflect, defend, defend, backflip. My god, you are so fucked, my sir. 15 dexterity. Good luck. So if I can just do that against the boss, we're golden, dude. Nightmare footwork into bullet time? Oh my god. What is the boss going to do? At this point, I'm just like diddly dallying because this guy is not a threat anymore. I'm just practicing the mechanics, right? So when I do go against the boss, I have the the blur mechanics on point. Like, boom. The mechanics. Even, these things are already mostly cost zero anyways, but whatever. Alright, that's a lot of defensive value. Another backflip. Okay, at that point it's excessive. But is it though? Yeah, it's excessive. But is it? Nah, it's excessive. Wait a second, let's do this. Nightmare, noxious fumes, well laid plans. Hold on to these two. We're good. We won. Life is good. Oh my god, bullet time. Are you kidding me? How clutch can you be, bullet time? Now imagine though, I'm going against the boss and I use all those powers. That would be crazy. Luckily, this is not the boss. And now you're just dead, dude. You are fucked. Okay, Anoxious Shooms are a skewer. Okay, I think Sucker Punch is really important here. I know this seems crazy. Oh, Time Eater I would destroy. Are you kidding me? Time Eater, literally all I have to do is Nightmare the Noxious Shooms. Use my footworks. The guy's dead. It would be easy as hell. I, I, I want the Time Eater. He's the easiest one from this. Yeah, I know I have a lot of cycle, but as long as I get my setup, like my footworks and my Noxious Shooms, I would just survive. The Wigan one's actually the hardest one for me because of the quick scaling little ads that I don't have the damage to kill quick enough and the fact that he gets power off my powers. This is actually the hardest boss for this deck. Time Eater would have been just a breeze in my opinion. Another Noxious Shooms. Okay, I think Sucker Punch might be useful to keep that weaken on the guy. So we're gonna have to keep him weakened. Although we already have Leg Sweep. So maybe we don't. I think we're good actually. But that's another that's another source of damage. Maybe Skewer. I, I need some kind of damage to kill the ads. As long as I kill the ads, we're good. I don't know if Sucker Punch is necessary. We'll take it. Alright, let's go. Let's rest. Alright, wait a second. So Nightmare Noxious Shooms might be intricate. Nightmare Four works fine. Hmm. Ah. Uh, okay. So. I think Nightmare Four work is fine. I think using one Four work is fine now. I think Lexi is fine here, and I think this is fine as well. I think Noxious Shrooms is necessary for the first turn. Whether or not I use all the footworks now is another story. I don't necessarily need to use them all now. I 
I need to keep the, the uh, madness on him. Things that get bad draw next turn, right? I'm still gonna I'm still gonna do it. I'm using a lot of footworks. I just need to make sure I get a good draw next turn when I think I don't get a good draw. That's fucking me over. And I think cow traps might be necessary. Okay, so we're looking at 40, 52 damage. 52 damage plus 18. 40, 52 plus 18, 60 damage. I, I can survive. Let's get rid of the madnesses. I'm gonna hold on to footwork. Once these guys are dead, the footwork's gonna be fine. I really gotta kill these guys right here. Our acrobatics tactician is really good here. Alright, backflip. Another footwork. Alright. Let's neutralize this guy. We were a shit ton of defense. Like, I actually want to use blur, and I want to do flying knee, but I'm going to have to use blur here. I'm going to hold on to these two things to maintain the weaken, and I got to kill this guy quickly. As long as I kill the cultist, my defense is fine. Like, this gives me enough defensive value. I, I keep the weaken on this guy in the back, or I can use this to kill this guy right here. Let's do this again. And now we got bullet time. All right, so I'm going to bullet time here. Let's do this. Um, he's gonna die to the poison anyways. Leg sweep is right here. Okay, let's do that. That guy's dead. Deflect. Strike this guy. Let's get rid of cow traps. Alright, now we gotta get a lot of defense coming up for the... For this play right here. We got the backflip. Alright, we... We can kill this guy. That guy's dead. Let's deflect. Survivor. Keep the neutralize on him, and I think we win now, right? We're looking at 40 plus 20. 40 plus 20 is only 60. In my opinion, I think we're good. We just gotta let for not just do its thing, and I think we win now. I think we have enough defense that we win. Ah, uh, we just did bullet time here. And now we have so much defense with blur that we're good for days. Again, acrobatics into tactician. So we keep cycling back into blur, right? Like, that's the play. I think it's better to just do this at this point, right? We're so good, it's ridiculous. I think we should hold on to bullet time, survivor. Bullet time is good here because I have flying knee, so the next turn I have one energy to look for something nice. Or like this, for instance. I could even do survivor for energy gain. So I can get another backflip. And uh, now we can just do bullet time. Oh, it doesn't really matter, I can actually hold on to bullet time because we have blur anyways. So let's just do this. I think it's better to do acrobatics into bullet time. So if we have tactician, we can use acrobatics into the tactician and then get the bullet time afterwards. Like right here is perfect time for bullet time. Look at this. That's a nice time to do bullet time. Look at that. And we got blur again. So we have enough defense for days. I'll hold on to it. Alright, so we're, the blur is gone. The blur is dead. I think we should find it. We have enough cycle that we can find our defenses pretty easily, right? Like, we cycle back into our defense pretty easily. Uh, it's going to be very slow, but I, I think we're going to win. Alright. Finding blur is like a godsend. I think this fight is a joke. Cycle back into it if I can. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to use cow traps just because I don't want to give him any more strength. Because if if I give him one more strength, then well, I'm just scared. If I give him one more strength, I'll end up like let's say I don't find blur. Maybe I don't need it. You're right. I have so much cycle and defense that maybe I don't need the cow traps anymore. Madness. I was trying to get. Oh, I got a free blur. I was trying to get value out of madness, but I should have done that a long time ago. You're right. I want to use cow traps when he dies here. So I'll hold on to it. We got the blur again. I don't even think I need to do... I don't even need to do bullet time here. So I'll hold on to the cow traps for this next play. I'm going to hold on to the leg sheep as well. Just because I need the weaken for this moment right here. Alright, so we got the cow traps. Actually, look for acrobatics so we can find blur again. 
Oh, shit. All right, let's do this. Let's do the couch ups now. Let's keep weakening him. And let's get energy for next turn. Let's hold on to these two. Now, now I just gotta find... There we go. Now I just gotta keep cycling back into Blur and this is GG. I could look for a way to get... There we go. That's what I was looking for. To get rid of the Tactician. Alright. Easy. So 18 times 3 is pretty crazy, right? I mean, I had the blue already. I think we should just actually defend. Oh, okay, we got the acrobatics into the tactician, which kind of saves us. Got to deflect. Let's get the blur out. Let's get flying knee for next turn. Again, I'm not out of the woods yet because this guy has a lot of strength. So if I f fuck up one cycle, which is unlikely, I could get hit for a lot. Yeah, we're drawing so much per turn that this one doesn't even matter. I guess I guess having a shit ton of footworks just makes everything easy. He's gonna kill himself with cow traps eventually. Let's look for the tactician. Uh, we got the blur. We got tactician here. Let's keep cycling for blur. The tiny house victory. I'll use that next turn. Oh, I wanted to keep going. I was having fun. I was having fun, dude. GG. Okay, we got the achievement, I think. Did we get it? Does it say anything at the end when you win with this? Oh, there it is. Okay, that's fun. I guess it wasn't that hype. <laughs>